Hello everyone, I'm JST Sujira from Kyo University. Uh, in this afternoon talk, I'm going to talk about a summary for a unified accelerator design for ladder slam algorithms for low end HPGS. Uh, I will start by the motivations for this work. Uh, SLAM is the process for creating a map of the environment and estimating a position of the robot at the same time. Uh, SLAM takes a lot of computations for doing this, uh, so we generally need high-end CPUs to achieve a satisfactory performance. Uh, but one problem is that uh, computational resources and power budgets are limited on mobile robots. And so we believe HPGA SOC is the promising computing platform to achieve efficient data slam systems for mobile robots. Uh, I will summarize the novelty and the proposals here. Uh, so we present a unified design for 2D data slam systems. The design is compact and resource efficient uh, so we can implement it on low-cost FPGAs like Inkz2. Uh, we focus on the acceleration of stem matching part uh, because stem matching becomes the bottleneck in most cases. Uh, we implement a robust and globally optimal stem matching on FPGA part. Our design is modular in some sense and can be easily integrated to various kinds of SLAM methods, uh, such as stem matching based SLAM, a particle filter SLAM, and graph based SLAM. We evaluate the design in terms of performance and accuracy using a real world datasets to show that our design is practical and feasible. Uh, as you see in this animation, a uh, stem matching is the process to maximize the overlap between a ladder stem and a grid map to estimate the motion of the robot. Uh, we performed some tweaks and optimizations and created a custom IP core for doing this using Pivado HLS. Uh, we implemented two IP cores on the FPGA fabric and our design is integrated into particle filter based and graph based SRAM. Uh, we present uh, some of the evaluations. Our FPGA accelerator achieved up to 14.8 uh, times speed up in stem matching and up to 4.6 times improvements in throughput. Uh, we can see the clear difference in the execution time. Uh, we also confirm that our FPGA based design improves the performance without compromising the accuracy of outputs. Uh, as you see, uh, we get almost the same outputs in a shorter time period. And the power consumption of the entire FPGA board was around 2.4 watts. Uh, we can see that our FPGA-based SRAM system uh, generates uh, globally consistent and highly accurate grid maps with no distortions. Uh, we'd like to show a demonstration of our proposed LiDAR SRAM system on Ping Z2. Uh, in this video, uh, we accelerate two representative types of SRAM methods, uh, namely a particle filter-based and graph-based SRAM. There you go. Uh, so if you find it interesting, uh, please watch the full length video for more details.